Jamie Rake here today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm shooting the V22, Voodoo 22 today. I am um, going to sight it in, uh, in three shots, or at least try to, and then shoot a Know Your Limits uh, rack. And I'll have video down there, assuming it works. Um, and uh, what I've done is I put a different scope on it than I had before. I really haven't shot this gun much. I was spending most of my summer uh, working on the 375 Shytac. Um, but this is the G2. It's not set up exactly the way I want, but hopefully I can get this on. It was on a 40 MOA rail uh, on the other gun it was on. And so I have just basically adjusted um, three and a half uh, mils because this is a 30 MOA rail and we'll see where we're at and then we'll adjust and hopefully get on in three and then move over to the uh, the Know Your Limits rack. Here we go. Okay, I'm about a mil right and a quarter, half a mil. We'll adjust here to the left and a little bit up. Not quite enough. to the Know Your Limits rack. Oops, only holds 10. Ready for the uh, uh, side in and seven for the, and the last one. I'm like having to reset. Forward forever, backward never. Thank you, enjoy. Okay, so here's the V22 a little up close. I have a Accutac LR10 bipod on there. I have a Protector uh, model rear bag, and this is the Ridgeback version. It has an Ace barrel, one to 16 um, twist, and then here are the mags. Um, my video of the box open showed basically how you load these, but you pull these down and um, put your uh, rounds in there. Holds a 10 round mag. Very nice mag, well built, feels very comfortable. Uh, this is built on a Remington 700 um, action. I have the oversized bolt knob here, which I, I like, and um, very nice. There is a uh, Trigger Tech diamond in here. I have it at 0.8 uh, pounds, which is what I prefer to shoot. 
um, because I do prefer the creep. I do have a straight shoe there. I have full extension on the uh, length of pull. It's actually a not quite what I'm looking for length of pull wise. Um, I like the stock, but I like chassis a little better because they have a longer length of pull or you can adjust most of them. And then on the end, I have a Liberty Suppressor. This is the Regulator 22 uh, for the long rifle. And then on the top, I have my Recon G2. And uh, that setup with a 30 MOA rail um, is pretty nice. The problem I have is I need more eye relief. So I need it to come forward probably another quarter inch or so. And I just, no matter what I do, cannot seem to get that forward far enough. Uh, so I would need to come up with a different uh, setup. It's the way this um, centerpiece, the apparatus is forward. I need just a little bit more adjustment and I don't have it. So there it is. I am shooting Lapua Center X uh, in it. That's what it likes best. I've tried SK and Ely, um, but right now that's where it's at and that's what it likes best. Uh, this uh, also adjusts up and down. I'm shooting it left because I shoot left with the right bolt and it normally comes with an extended knob here and I just have the knob off with the low profile screw. I haven't done any modifications to it. Uh, I normally put a rail here uh, with a hook um, that I use to move around and I would prefer the bipod to be out here. Uh, I don't have my Phoenix on here. I'm just shooting a traditional bipod. I guess this isn't traditional, um, but uh, it's what I've used here for a while. I prefer this to be a little shorter. I'd like it to be about two inches shorter. Over the years, I've slowly uh, moved down with my height. I started, boy, probably 20 years ago with a 23 inch um, Harris and then went down steadily, down size, down to 12, and then all the way down to six to nine. Uh, I got the Accutech, I have a Phoenix, and so I prefer to get lower and lower. And uh, today, I'm using the protector instead of just a sandbag simply because I'm siding in. So there it is. Uh, we'll go from there.